Rotation. Music to the ears of many a Super Yoko member. But what is it? How does it work? And why do we want it so bad? Let's find out in this Movember special. Work on a super yacht, move up through the ranks, and maximize your potential. Hello and welcome back to Work on a Super Yacht, a place to help yacht crew make the most of their super yacht careers, and indeed for anyone who's interested in this unique and exciting industry. If you're not subscribed already, you know what to do, and then let's get into this thing. I'm going to start off by talking about what I like to call true rotation, and this is basically where two crew members share one job on board. It is the norm amongst deck and engineering officers in the Merchant Navy and on board yachts over 3,000 gross tons. On yachts under 3,000 gross tons, it is becoming increasingly common amongst engineering officers and, to a lesser extent, deck officers and even more senior crew within other departments. Here's how it works. The rotation will be set at a certain time period, anywhere from six months on, six months off, to six weeks on, six weeks off. And this is what makes it a true rotation, at least in my eyes, an equal period of time on the ship as off on leave. That is to say, you'll be working on board the ship only half of the year. During the other half, while you're away on leave, your rotational partner will be fulfilling the role on board. So let's say I'm a chief officer with a 2-2 two -two rotation. Two months on, two months off. I've been on board the yacht now for two months and my rotational partner or opposite is rejoining the yacht this morning. In preparation I've drawn up some handover notes because he needs to be fully appraised of everything that's been going on and will be going on during his time on board. This could include, but would certainly not be limited to, the results of any surveys, the planned itinerary, ongoing works, new systems that have been implemented on board, any crew members that have joined or left the yacht, any deficiencies and indeed anything that he will need to know in order to carry out his role on board effectively. I've also sent a copy to the captain so that they know that the incoming chief officer has been fully appraised of everything that's going on on board. It looks like we're just about ready in time because here he comes now. Let's go meet him. The idea is that we'll go through all of the handover notes that I've written up, make sure that he's happy with everything, and then I'll be leaving at the end of the day and he will basically have responsibility for the role for the next two months while I'm away enjoying my leave. Hey Matthew, good to see you again. How you doing? How was your trip? No, no, it was all right. It's all right. Um, no delays. Pretty cruisy, actually. Pretty good. Nice touch, by the way. Oh yeah, thanks. What happened to yours? Well, I was doing some chart corrections early this morning, and it just fell off. Just made a right mess all over the charts. Oh no, man. That's terrible. Sorry to hear that. Let's get you inside, get you comfortable, grab a coffee, and then we'll crack on with this handover. Sure. Sounds good. Let's do it. Yes, I know, but I'm going to give Matthew clear instructions and he's going to look after you. Now, let me just make sure I've got this all ready before he comes up. Oh, hey, Matthew. How are you doing? All comfortable? Got yourself a coffee? Wicked. Uh, I thought we'd start up here in the bridge, in the office. We'll run through some new stuff we've got on the laptop here. Then got all these files. I've updated a number of the standard operating procedures and I've rewritten a lot of the training manual. So we'll go through all of that lot. Ah, <sighs> this is a bit boring. Maybe I should dye my moustache green. Or maybe I could grow it really long and then use it to hold my sunglasses. If you've got any questions. And then you just want to be making sure that you're turning them periodically. I can't believe he's never realised I replaced those plants after the others died last time I was here. Because this is her bad side, so you never want to have this side facing the rest of the room. Okay, so Catherine likes a drink twice a week, and for the rest of them it's just once a week, right? Yep, yeah, absolutely. Spot on. Great, and now that's all taken care of, let's take a walk around out on deck and I can introduce you to the new deckhand. Okay, great. Sounds good. I think Matthew's down on the foredeck. Let's go meet him. And just so you know, he loves wearing pink. Hey, Matthew. Oh, hey. This is Matthew. Hey, how's it going? 
It's good to finally meet you. Yeah, likewise. Looking forward to working with you. Cool. Let's leave Matthew to it and we'll go and see Chief Engineer Matthew. I think he's down in the engine room. Okay, cool. Sounds like a plan. Hey Matthew, Matthew's back from his leave. Oh hey. Hey, how you doing? How you going Matthew? Good to see you again. I was hoping you'd be able to tell Matthew a little bit more about the thing that happened with the big metal thing. Okay, so what happened was, first the front fell off, then the back fell off, then the big end broke and the turbo exploded. So I just bored a hole in the top, stuck a rod in there, torqued it up a little bit, and then I flipped the whole thing upside down, and we haven't had any problems since. Right. Thanks for that, Matthew. We're going to leave you in peace now, and we're going to crack on with the rest of this handover. Sure thing. Let's catch up again later on in the crew mess. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, we've got new stewardess as well. Oh yeah? What's she called? Matthew. Ah, huh. of course. So that's, uh... Okay then, I've got a flight to catch in a couple of hours, so I'd better get going. Are you happy with everything? Absolutely, Matthew. No problem at all. Any problems, just give me a call. Yeah, cool. Enjoy your holiday. Nice one. Enjoy your time on board. Oh, and um, my bags are all packed and down on the main deck aft, so I'm going to head out this way. Would you mind just signing me out on the board downstairs? Yeah. Great. Thanks. Which one is it? All right then, let's get stuck into these emails. Hey Matthew. So, so, sorry, what? Yeah, I'm just gonna take the car and go to the hardware store to grab some tools, if that's all right. Sure, no problem. But before you go, Matthew asked if you could please subscribe to his channel and like the latest video. Okay, sure. I'll do that now, and then I'll go. Oh, and um, just make sure you sign yourself out on the board down there, because, yeah, it's just, it's just getting a little bit confusing. Okay. Yeah. All right. No problem. And with that being said, I'm going to go and enjoy my holiday and spend my money. Back to Matthew here, who, unlike Matthew and... Matthew isn't on rotation, but of course that is my goal, that is my aim, because that just makes the whole thing more sustainable. I think you can see why it is that people want this rotation. <laughs> just want rotation? Is it too much to ask? It means that you can go back and spend a decent amount of time with family and friends. It means that you can go back and spend some time on your hobbies, your interests, getting away from the yacht and making some time for you. As I said before, it's more common in senior roles on larger yachts, but it is slowly coming down. It is slowly being recognized as the way forward. It is being suggested to owners more often that they implement a system of rotation. Ultimately, it costs the owner more money up front, but in the long run, if they can hold on to crew for longer periods of time, then it will work out better for everyone. It really is win-win. Now, of course, I did say that Matthew and Matthew had a true rotation. They had equal periods on and off the yacht, but that would of course imply that there is some form of a false rotation? It's rotation, Jim, bud. Not as we know it. Well, not exactly false, but it is a bit different, and this is something that's usually offered to more junior crew members on board. 
This involves more than two crew members sharing more than one job role and often manifests itself in something like a 5-1, 3-1 or if you're really lucky a 2-1 rotation. I've had a 5-1 rotation before, five months on, one month off and for this to work it required six crew members so that was three deckhands, one lead deckhand, a bosun and a second officer. All rotating and it amounted to two months off per year for each crew member. Personally this worked for me of course it's nothing like a true rotation. You're on the yacht far more than off but I liked the predictability of it. I knew when I was going away on leave. I could plan in advance and when my time came a flight ticket would simply be handed to me. I'd be told I was going then and then when it was time to return again a flight ticket would be sent and I would be brought back to the yacht. On the downside, no, you can't choose when you go on leave. With respect to pay, nothing changes here. If your salary is 2,500 euros a month, you will simply receive that for every month of the year, even when you're not on board the yacht. And there you have it, rotation. I really hope that's given you a better understanding of what it is and how it is implemented on board yachts. Any questions? You know where to put them. Please don't hesitate to ask. As always, a like would be fantastic, a sub would be amazing and I very much look forward to seeing you next time. Oh, thanks. I got a present. Wonder what it could be. It's not rotation.